Hey there, this is Cheryl Skynar from Skynar Bookkeeping Services, where we pride ourselves on QuickBooks Setup, Cleanup, and Keep Up. Today I want to talk about a difficult situation in that occasionally you issue a payment from your bank via bill pay and your vendor never receives it. Your bank says it's been sent, they've deducted the amount from your account, but your vendor hasn't gotten the money and they want to be paid. So this can be a bit complicated, but I'm going to show you how you can make the entry into your QuickBooks so that your books are correct. In this situation, my vendor, Nolan Hardware, has told me that the $500 that I sent out ACH from my bank was never received by them. When I go to my bank register, I see that this ACH was sent from my bank and it cleared my bank statement. So I can't void this check right here or else my bank reconciliation will be off. Irregardless, my vendor, Nolan Hardware, wants to be paid. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut them a check for the $500 in my current month, which in this example is December. The check amount is going to be for $500. And I am going to put in the memo the reason why I'm cutting this check. I know that the original check was written for a cost of goods sold account. So that's what this check is going to be for. I'm going to put this memo in two places. One where it's going to show up on the check, which is up here, and the other one which will show up on reports, which is down here. Make note of the date, December 15th, 2020. I can save and close and print this check and keep Nolan Hardware happy. Now when I look at my check register, I see the payment on 11:15 for $500 going to Nolan Hardware and I see the payment on 12.15 going out to Nolan Hardware. What's happened is this has been paid twice for my account, but I know that the bank needs to refund me that $500 because they have confirmed the check has not been cashed, and once their time limit is up, they will refund me the money. So what I want to do is I want to make a bank deposit. I'm gonna use the date as the same date that I used to write the replacement check to Nolan. I'm going to reference their name here, and I'm going to use the same account that I wrote the check with, and in the memo, I'm going to reference why this deposit should be coming back. I'm going to use the same amount that the check was for, the $500, and I'm going to save and close. So here's the deposit I'm waiting to get back from the bank, and here's the replacement check. Now, odds are this replacement check is going to get printed and sent to Nolan Hardware, and they're going to run right to the bank and cash it, while my bank might be a bit slower in refunding me the $500 that they owe me. But by putting this in here, it's a tickler for me to remember the bank owes me this $500. Even if by the end of December they haven't refunded it to me, when I go to reconcile in January, it's going to be waiting there, and hopefully they will have refunded me by then. And there you have it. Hopefully this has been helpful to you. Please be sure to click the like button if you found this helpful and check out my other videos on QuickBooks tips and tricks.